ever sweet boy. Oh. And I got some bits from Zara. Had my first little route. It's not great at the moment. My stomach is just making me pass out. God, here we go then. I think that one's quite nice. That one's a short. Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name is Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you found me, but please stay. We are back with another home video. I am so excited for this video. So this video incorporates quite a lot, actually. We have our first part of the renovation process. We have someone come around and tell us bits, and we knock our first hole in the wall. So exciting. I get to take you to the range with me, and also I am going to be doing a Zara the range and home sense haul so make sure you stay tuned for this video let's get into it i'm so excited hope you enjoy it i love you Please. good morning welcome back to my youtube channel today this is so exciting my name's imogen by the way and this is spencer today we are so excited because we have the first step in the renovation process today. what's happening pop today we have the structural engineer coming around to yes. sort of tell us what we don't have any plans or anything like that right. so we have a guy coming around to tell us what well we want to know what wall is supporting the whole house yeah. so we can sort of build around this uh, supporting wall yeah. and um, yes. The structural engineer is here. I don't think we're going to be able to film but it's fine. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm just keeping my distance because he's got his mask on upstairs with Spencer so I'm just going to stay here and keep away but um, yeah he's just banging some walls at the moment and seeing what's going on so it's all really exciting. I can keep my mask off when I'm talking to you can't I? Yeah he's upstairs but yeah so he's just banging on walls. He's going up into the loft now to see what he can do. It's a little bit awkward not going to lie because he's kind of asking us for plans but we Kind of thought he was going to give us the plans. He's going up into the loft now, so fingers crossed. I have no idea with all this. He's asked us. Sorry, um, I don't think there is. I'm not sure. Do you want a torch? God, this is so awkward. I don't know what to do. So quick update. I'm so glad we're getting this in before lockdown because I know the lockdown's in a couple of days, but my dad's going to come around now. Me and Spencer are going to go way outside in the car. My dad's going to come around because my dad is a builder. So my dad's going to have to drill in some holes, which is going to obviously make the house a little bit messy, but it's fine. He's got to pull up some of the carpet and he's also got to drill in the holes because the guy can't see which walls are load bearing and he also can't see which way the joining's going on the carpet. But I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. This is so new to us. We have no idea. And he was like, it's your generation, you just sit on your phones. And I'm thinking, no, this is something you have to go to school around, surely. Like, you have to be trained in these areas, don't you? Like, how am I going to walk into a house and know what a load-bearing wall is? Really? I said, oh, we're going to learn for next time. But you know when you just feel a little bit, like, attacked? Like, I, don't, I wouldn't have a clue. Would you have a clue? I wouldn't have a clue which walls you could knock down and which way the joinery is going with with all of the carpets and the floorboards and no chance like i only just found out what an rsj is we're gonna go wait outside dad's gonna come in because he is doing the building work and well we're trying to convince him to but he is a builder so he will know and be able to drill into the rooms i'm so glad I've, I've got my dad i'm so lucky because i'm so grateful because i called him and i was like the guy needs you to drill into the walls because we're gonna have to bypass trying to get the plans from someone else so dad's coming around now so i will let you know this is a little bit more stressful than I thought. I thought it was just going to come around and go, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'll tell your architect. <laughs> it's a lot more stressful. He's also told us something about the roof, which we need to sort and fix, which is just a bit more of a cost. But it's fine. It's all fun and games. All part of it. Also, by the way, I'm wearing my coat because it's freezing. And we have the door open right now, but it's absolutely freezing because of the heating's broken. Love that. Love that. So, update. My dad is the most intelligent man I've ever met in my life. He knows everything, doesn't he? He knows his stuff. He knows everything. No offence to the guy, but my dad was the one that was asking him questions and the guy was like, oh yeah, I didn't even realise that. Mm. Didn't know that. Bless him. Dad doesn't want us to go off his word because that's not his job. Uh -huh. Dad isn't a building regulator and he's not yeah, a... Yeah, yeah. What's this guy? Char Structural, en Structural, Structural engineer. engineer. Yeah. So that's not dad's forte and job, mm -hmm. but dad knew everything. He knew exactly which wall. He was asking questions about the joints, etc. Like... Yeah. It's amazing. We were just watching from outside like, Dad, you're unbelievable, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, Thank God we got this. But the thing is, I just was telling them, Dad is a builder, so he's technically allowed to be here. Yeah. But it is before lockdown. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad we've got this. I'm glad we got this appointment before lockdown. So yeah, I don't think definitely. he'd be working, would he? Uh, who? Yeah, construction carries on, I think. Does it? Yeah. So right. stuff like that doesn't get affected. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's show you the first hole. <laughs> Dad's just gone to get something from his house to do, but he's starting to cut in there with our cheese knife. Mm. Can you see? Look. We've got a little dust sheet that I was going to use to take photos in lockdown actually before the first lockdown I was gonna take photos so thank god we kept this dust sheet but 
That's our little cheese knife. There That's you go. I want to see though. I want yeah. to see dust. This is exciting. I think this is amazing. That's what I was like. Come on, let's just, just make some mess. <laughs> Come on. It was a tiny bit awkward, wasn't it? Be honest. Yeah, it was a little bit to begin with. <laughs> Even though I spoke to him on the phone and like sort of briefed him on what he wanted yeah. to do and stuff. He, just, he came and just didn't speak, did he? He just stood still. I was like, okay then. <laughs> Lucky meal saved us. <laughs> So he's coming at two o'clock. He's coming back at two or three-ish. We'll have yeah. to delay it because I've got to go out to HomeSense. Yeah. Basically, we're going to go to HomeSense today because we're going to get some bits for the house to decorate it this weekend. Um, obviously, not with all the dust and stuff around, but I just really wanted to get the house sort of in ready condition for Christmas because I know that it's not going to be the Christmas that we expect. And I know that I'd rather get in the festive spirit now because it can lift up our spirits. I think and everyone should go mental on that Christmas deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's all put like, our decks up in November. We're lockdown, we still just have amazing houses and put <laughs> yeah, our lights yeah. on. Yeah, so I want to get some bits for the stairs. I could like to get like a trimming on the stairs. I'd love to get like a little trimming on the mantelpiece. So fingers crossed home yeah. sets have bits. Otherwise I'll just go to Rhett the range tomorrow and get some more bits. But I'm really excited. So we're gonna go shopping in the um, home sense today, which you probably would have already seen. But on Thursday I uploaded a video, come shopping with me in home sense. So you would have already seen that. Oh my God, look at, oh my, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> it's gonna be a draft now. <laughs> Excuse my language, but if this house wasn't cold already, it's got a hole in the wall. Oh my god, here we go then. Here it starts, here it begins. At least the flowers look pretty. The flowers look really pretty. My mum came round, they're from the neighbours of my mum and dad. How nice are they? Dad didn't take the money I left him. Oh, he's so annoying, I left him some. Look how cute these flowers look as well. I love them. My mum came down and put them with my stepdad in here. I think they're so cute in the little things, aren't they? Also, I might have gone a little bit crazy on the syrups. <laughs> so I got sweet cream, coffee creamers. Look, they're gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, sugar-free. But I've got French dressing, Thousand Island, French vanilla. Whee! Also, look what I got for me and Spencer. Look what I found. <gasps> it's a mulled winter punch. I thought it was mulled wine, but it's a mulled winter punch, non-alcoholic. Can you have that warm? Yeah, look and listen. Oh my God, a rich spicy fruit drink. Delicious served warm, ideal as a non-alcoholic winter punch. Oh my God, you can put it on the, oh look. Amazing. Red grape juice, elderberry, cinnamon, clove, spice extracts. Oh, we'll have some of that tonight, will we baby? Yes, we will. Yes, we will, fella. Right, so I've got to show you some bits. So I've got this gorgeous vase, stunning. We don't have many vases, do we, pup? We don't. So I thought I'd get a vase for us for the pampas grass or some flowers or something like that. Then I also got the syrups. I got peanut butter cup. Oh my God, oh my God, this feels just bigger. I'm seeing Spencer got loads of board games. We got so many board games for Christmas because I've never played these ones. Replay, Tension, and cool. yeah, I think they're called cool. Alias we have played and it's brilliant. Hugo is so good at it. Um, Spencer also got this vegan treat book, but you will have seen in the home sets come shopping with me, these bits. Um, I also picked up some Dr. Jart masks because they were in home sense and they're amazing. But regarding home stuff, we didn't get that much home stuff, did we really, pup? We have got a tree skirt as well for our Christmas tree, which we should go pick up for my dad and decorate the house maybe next weekend. Yeah. So we will vlog decorating the whole house with uh -huh. the Christmas bits. Yeah. But we did get this. Oh yeah, we did get some Christmas bits actually, didn't we? Mm, yeah. Should we wait until I go to the range tomorrow to decorate? But shall we decorate when I've got all the garland and stuff? You're not, were you going to put it out now, were you? Yeah. No, oh you? my... Yeah. You just got to do it all at once. Okay, all at once, okay. So when we've got the stuff from the range and also when we've got bits from my dad's for the tree. Yeah. So we need to go get it from dad's garage actually, don't we? Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll leave the decorations then and we'll wait to see what I get tomorrow. So come to the shopping with me to the range and that'll be cute because then we can see some bits. So this is basically a come shopping with me to the range. Well, I won't be there tomorrow, will I? You won't be there. So say goodbye to the angels. Bye everyone. I shall see you soon. Thank you for watching. Please <laughs> like. No, the vlog's not subscribe. ended. The vlog's not ended, baby. Yeah, right, as for me. Okay. So until next time, I love you and I'm going to leave you. Oh, and I'm going to love you forever, sweet boy. Oh, Call me sweet girl, it's my favourite. Ah, oh, sweet, sorry. sweet girl. There you go. Sweet girl. There you go up. Sweet girl. Yes. Love you. Love you more. Okay. A little sweetness. That's my bum bum. This is my camera's sweet. <laughs>
There it is, my little angels. The range. We are here. We are ready. There's a queue to get in. Surprise, surprise. I've got everything ready. I'm ready in my head. I've got my Pinterest pictures. I'm ready to go and get some wreaths, get some bits of the Christmas tree. I'm excited. I will take you around with me. Let's go into the range. Woohoo! Angels, we were at the beginning of the Christmas section. I can see all of the little situations I need. I want something really cute. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. See, now I don't know where to start. Which one shall I get? Is that pretty? I'd quite like them pre-lit, but they don't have any pre-lit ones, I don't think. Let's go and have a gander, shall we? I get so excited in the range, but the queue to pay is about 45. Oh, shit. Oh, God. That really scared me and everyone's looking now. I just literally stood on a piano that was on the floor. It's one of those play pianos on the floor. So I don't know whether I should get this one, 21 99 Is that nice? that one pretty this one I think that one's quite nice that one's a shorter version that might look nice on this on the mantelpiece what do you think or do you like the frosted ones oh is that lit that one's got lights oh they might actually have lights angels do they have lights oh they're lit oh my god they have actually got lights okay this is amazing this is amazing this is amazing angels oh my god oh my god oh my god now, do I go for, what is this? No, I'm not, no, don't need that one. Don't need that one. I don't think these ones are lit, are they? No, they're not. That's pretty, isn't it? Okay, let's have a gander over here then, Angel. Okay, so here we are in the baubles. I basically want some white ones like this, but a lot of them. I want like a big, big like box of them. If you know what I mean, but not those ones. See, they're nice, aren't they? Those little gold ones. They're £1.99 each, and I'd need quite a lot. That's the only problem. That's why I want a big box of them. If you know what I mean? Anyone else know what I mean? Buying loads of individual ones. I'm in the Christmas section, loving life. Look how cute it is. Cannot even cope. Look at these ones. Oh my god, oh my god. I really wanted to get a star for the tree, but I can't find a star anywhere. And I also wanted to find some little mini trees to go on here but I can't find any. I might go to the front of the store and see if there's any little mini trees because basically at the moment what I've got is I've got some white, I think I'm going white and gold. I've got little white snowflakes, white big baubles, and then obviously these have white cones in them and stuff. I feel like I'm going quite white, yes? With some gold, will that look cute? I mean, I need to get loads more baubles because I've got none, but I don't know whether. I might have to get some online, you know, because this is the last day I can physically come shopping. I wanted to get a really cute star for the tree, like a white one, but let's go see what else we can get. Actually, look at the queue. That is no joke. Like, look at the queue. So I've got my bits from the range sitting next to me, baby prince. I had my first little row. Not a row. It wasn't a row. But there's this woman in there, and basically there's these candles I got. I'll show you. These ones. So they've got like a fake flame, and I thought that would be better to sit on the top of the mantelpiece because, you know, lighting candles can then go onto the reef and just make it a hazard so she bought 35 and she left the only ones that were display only and i was like huh? i mean she can do what she wants but i was like so in her bag she had like two big 24 pack of toilet roll or maybe 12 pack and then she had everything in multiples so she had like rice times like 12 and like everything was really big and i was like you've literally taken all the candles so then i was like oh you've got them all then like as a joke she was like yeah normally they have loads more but i need a lot more than this i was like wow amazing like you must have a massive house if you need more than like 30 candles but she was really sweet in the end she helped me find some so she's sweet actually i took the display only ones to the till and then the lady at the till went and got these ones for me which i didn't know how she went and got them maybe they had more at the back maybe they had more at the back but anyway me and spencer are going to decorate the house this weekend together so i think that'll be cute and that video will go up next week because we haven't got our tree yet but i feel like i've got some cute bits which i'll show you when i get home because i feel like what what i've got is cute and nice so i've got to find a way to get home though because basically on the way here poor person i mean everyone was okay i looked it up because i was worrying but you know when you see an accident i always look it up because obviously not when i'm driving but i looked it up because i was like oh my god like hope these people are okay i always worry so everyone was fine but a car was on fire 
So the whole of the other side of the road going back to Brighton is shut. So I'm going to call my dad and see because dads just, they know everything. Mums and dads just know everything. So I'm calling dad to see which way to get back from Crawley. And then I'll see you. Hello, beautiful angels. Right, I'm back from the range. Absolutely buzzing. So we've got loads of bits. Can you see? Oh, we've got two more home sense bags downstairs because I feel like I'm gonna wait until my dad gives us the tree and then we can start preparing everything. So we're gonna probably do that all this weekend. I'm gonna make a separate video of us decorating the whole house because I just think it'll be so cute. I mean, I'm probably gonna do it in stages because I really don't know how to like decorate the bedroom and stuff. Do people decorate their bedroom for Christmas? Is that a thing? I've never done it properly. I remember when I was younger, I got like this little tree and I really wanted to find some in the range, but there was none. But I really want you to DM me on my Instagram some inspo for like the house. I know how to do like, well, I don't know how to do. I feel like the lounge will be really cute and I feel like I know roughly what kind of vibe to go with. But if you have any suggestions of like home inspo for Christmas, please send me it. Also, I want to show you my outfit for today and I got some bits from Zara. Excuse the awful bag, it's been crumpled in my wardrobe, but I want to show you some bits and do a little mini Zara haul because I thought, why not? So I've got these trousers on from Zara. They're leggings and they are honestly the most comfortable things I've ever worn in my life. Awful angle, let me move these back. This is the worst haul I've ever done. And also ignore the socks. Let me take the socks off because you don't get the vibe. You do not get the vibe. Right, look, can you see them? They are so cute. They've got this split hem and I wore them with some booties today. And I just feel like this is so cute. They are so stretchy and so nice. What size did I get them in? I got them in a small. I got them in a small and I just feel like they're so nice. They're so soft and stretchy. And then this jacket I got from Miss Pat. But I'm telling you, Hans, you need to go cop this jacket because basically there's this oversized jacket. It's real leather, but I didn't want real leather, obviously. But it's in H&M and I think it's 200 pounds. This is so much cheaper and it's exactly the same. Like it's the exact same jacket. I'm obsessed. And it hasn't got one of those tassely things which whacks around. I did do a Miss Pat haul, which just features some bits from there. But I also got this top from Zara, which I think is stunning. I actually ordered 268 pounds worth of Zara stuff for a Zara haul coming soon. So look out for that very excited for that but look how gorgeous this top was so this is 15 pound 99 and i actually feel like this will go with these leggings so nicely because these leggings they make you look snatched like i don't really like leggings because i feel like they look bunchy and just like you know when you just feel a bit bloated and you're like no thanks but these mm, actually my stomach has been horrendous at the moment so on the weekend last weekend we went out for some food and I actually passed out in front of so many people. Paul Spencer, love him so much. And then I went out on Sunday for some food as well and passed out in ZZ's. And it was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous. Like I don't really remember it, but my stomach is just not great at the moment. My stomach is just making me pass out. And it's just, well, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, that's the Zara haul. Let's not talk about negativity. So it's got a square neck, it's this scuba material, and it's got this wonderful little tie string details here. And then I got these. Leggings, high rise, this colour. What do you think of this colour, Hans? Do we like this colour? I feel like it goes with everything. And also, it's got these little slits at the bottom as well with a zip, so you can zip them open if you want, but I probably won't. But I've got these in black from a while ago, and I absolutely love them. I love the button up here, a little popper. I love the fact they're stretchy. Oh, don't break them, Imogen. I love the fact they're stretchy, you know, and I like this colour. I just think this is like quite an autumnal colour, so it's not white and it's not beige, it's like an off beigey brown. Don't you think? Do you think that's cute? Do you like me doing little mini hauls and vlogs? I don't know, I really don't know. So I'm thinking this weekend we're gonna do all of our Christmas deck. I just think it'd be so cute. Put the albums on, be really cute. We've never decorated, I'm just not even gonna cry. What is wrong with me? Oh my goodness. I always cry when I think about the fact I've got a house. <laughs> I know I've got like a big mortgage and stuff to pay, but like, but I'm just grateful that I actually have something, you know, over my head that I actually get to decorate with Christmas decks. Yeah, I think they're gorgeous. So basically they just flicker. I think you turn them on. I don't think they have batteries in though. No, I don't think they have batteries. I need to get batteries, but I just thought they were cuter than getting real candles because you know, Knowing me, I'll probably set the whole of the reef on fire on the mantelpiece. <laughs> We've got loads of little robins as well to go around everywhere. There's one here, but this one just sits in this room. 
Very cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I am so excited to decorate the house. So we are actually going to decorate it this weekend, but you will see that video going up next week. So make sure you stay subscribed. I'd be so grateful. And yeah, I hope you have the best rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. Take some time to focus on yourself. You are amazing and we are all in this together. We will get through this together. I love you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing vlogs. I love doing home content and just, yeah. I love you. Because I feel like in vlogs you get to do loads of different things. I'm going to stop talking and turn the camera off because I'm annoying. Spencer's came in the car.